Welcome to a video on LTSPICE parameters. Sometimes in simulations you want to simulate the different component values but in the same simulation so that you can see the effect of this component or parameter changing all the time. Okay, this is very helpful when you're working with variable components like potentiometers and capacitors so that you don't have to change the simulation every time you can just put in the maximum and minimum value of a specific component and the simulation will do it for both and this is also useful when you're doing optimization simulations so when you're trying to find the ideal solution and you're playing around with different values so then you can do multiple values at the same time so let's quickly go and look at some examples of this in LT Spice. So I set up a instrumentation amplifier and the value of interest is typically this 1.5 kilo ohms right here. If you want to make a variable resistor so they can adjust the gain of the two gain stages of instrumentation amplifier. So let's go ahead and run this see it's already it is functional so what do you want to do first if you want to make this value a variable is you use the curly brackets and let's call this r so this is now value r we can do a spice command say dot parameter R is 1.5 K. Okay. So now we didn't really change anything, but this is now a variable. So if we run this again, it does run and this remained 1.5 kilo ohms. If you right click it, you can get a whole list where you can add new parameters and give them values and whatever you want if you don't want that let's hit escape it will give you the ability to change this now one of the things that people want to do is simulate multiple values of this so instead of having dot param you want to make this dot step parameter r is 1.5 k so now the first value in your step will be 1.5 kilo ohms. The second value is where you want to step it to. So let's make it 2.5k. And the last one is the increments. So let's say we want to increment it with 0.5 kilo ohms. It's going to do 1.5, 2, and 2.5 kilos. Let's do this. Let's run it. And it runs the simulation with all three values, with 1.5k being the largest, 2k, 2.5k. So it did the same simulation but for three different variables. You can do a lot of simulations with this. If you go and right click it, it gives you a couple of new options. You can now put a new parameter to sweep in here you can pick the kind of sweep that you want to do and then start value stop value and the increment we hit escape here it will take us back to the command itself so that we can edit the command now if we want to step specific resistor values so not necessarily this linear combination of values like 1.5 and we go with increments of 0.5 to 2.5k we can go and say list let's say we want to simulate 150 ohms 1.5k's and let's say 15 kilo ohms Okay, those are three different values and they're not very linear. 
we press run, it will give us three different values. 150 ohms being the one that's saturated over here because the gain is too high. 1.5k the initial and then the 15k is much attenuated since this resistor is too large. So there is three new ways to work with a parameter and I wish you all the best with your simulations and new st stuff to play with. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.